there are some really great performances in Without Love. As a narrative, it's all right. Some parts were more interesting than others, but we have a great cast. This was released in 1945. It's directed by Harold S. Bouquet or Bouquet and stars the wonderful Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy as Jamie and Pat. We also have Lucille Ball and the cast across the board gave some really great performances. Not all of it lended itself to, you know, intense performances or overly comedic performances, but every now and then they had a chance to do something that was a little bit impressive, um, which really helped when the narrative itself wasn't necessarily that fascinating. Not that the narrative's boring, it is interesting enough, but I feel like we needed something else in there to keep it fully engaging. This is set during the Second World War, and... Jamie is in a relationship with Pat, but it's just a relationship of convenience. Neither of them are looking for love. They may not even believe that it's possible to be in love properly anymore. But they live together. They they work together. Jamie helps out Pat. He's a scientist and he sets up his laboratory in her home, or rather the home they share together. And it's all about their relationship, their friendship, their professional relationship, and whether or not it is possible to have a relationship of convenience and spend so much time with somebody and not fall in love. I won't say any more than that, but it's the characters are definitely interesting. Particularly Jamie, I thought she was fabulous, slightly biased because I love Catherine Hepburn. It's also always a joy to watch Hepburn and Tracy perform together, so that's something that I really enjoyed. And the costumes... Hepburn's costumes in this are stunning, absolutely beautiful. So it was quite engaging at times, and certainly when they were doing you know, science experiments and working in the laboratory, that was pretty different and not something I've seen much of, certainly with Catherine Hepburn films. So it wasn't what I was expecting, and I found that to be quite interesting. But I think the scenes surrounding those, they were sometimes okay. But sometimes I was waiting for something to happen. It's definitely character driven rather than narrative driven. It's all about these, you know, these two people living together, their relationship and what it's like and how it may or may not change over the course of the film. But honestly, I, I didn't mind watching it. I quite enjoyed watching it once. I liked the performances. And as I said, every now and then the narrative was quite interesting, but it's not a film I'd watch again and again. I think once I've seen it once, once is enough. Maybe I'll watch it again at some point, but definitely not in the near future. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. As long as you're in the mood for a film that's more about the characters than it is about, you know, the narratives and key plot points and high action and, you know, gripping twists and things, then this is obviously not that kind of film. But if you want one that's about the characters and you want to become absorbed in their relationship um, and what they mean to each other and their personalities then, yeah, it might be it might be worth watching. As I said, we have some great performances uh, and Hepburn and Tracy are great together on screen. Without Love may not be my favourite Catherine Hepburn film, but it was well done. The pacing was not too bad. Even though not a lot happened, I feel like the characters were making steady progress. We started to learn more about them and pick them apart um, and dig a little bit deeper into their personalities at a pretty steady rate. So in general, it's not a bad film, as long as it's the kind of film you're in the mood for. It's not one I could watch again and again. But watching it once, I certainly didn't mind it, and I, I think I'm happy to recommend it. <laughs>